Well, at the start of the pandemic, nursing homes and assisted living facilities were hit hard. Now, those places had to make a lot of changes. Yeah, as a way to lift the spirits of residents at St. Francis Villa in River Ridge, the staff came up with a unique way to encourage mask wearing. Tonight, Paul Dudley is showing us why there is still a reason to smile. I've lived through a lot, but never anything like this. At St. Francis Villa Assisted Living, the emphasis is on living. So that's why the staff here came up with a bit of a different way to encourage mask wearing, a contest. Different ones go with a different personality, so. Laura Lee Adams, the facility's marketing director, sent a note to the residents' families asking them to help loved ones make cool masks. And it kind of took off. Just ask 82-year-old Betty Knott. My mask my daughter made for me. It's the Betty Boop mask. She designed it and made it for me. Or 94-year-old Joyce Ural. The J is for Joyce, but also something else. My granddaughter made that for me. She came up with it. She thinks I'm a jewel in her life. <laughs> and then there's 82-year-old Gloria Fatet, looking ready to go for a tropical vacation. It uh, brings up your spirits, you know, it's, uh, and you want to do, it makes me anyway want to, uh, participate in it. The nursing home posted the many pictures to Facebook for people to vote, and there are a few favorites, like this runaway bride. Joe Hurl is also getting a lot of votes. Maybe it's the Crown Royal, or maybe it's just because he's almost 100. Well, if a person could live for 100 years, he's doing pretty good. It hasn't been easy for seniors this year, yet they are still finding a reason to smile. There's one comment on it, and it's one lady and says, even through the mask, I can tell she's smiling by her eyes. And that's the best part about it. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. The voting continues until Friday. Just visit the St. Francis Villa Assisted Living Facebook page. The contest is mostly for fun, but the winner will get a small prize and, of course, bragging rights.